Hello and welcome back to the unboxers and today we have for you another awesome Mego! This time it is... Hammer Plague of the Zombies. He's got a little bit of a glare going on there. Oh, so there he is! All right, so we want to say a great big thank you to... Mego. For sending him to us for free to share with you today. So, he doesn't actually have a name. He's just a zombie. Yeah, I think he's just a zombie. <laughs> zombie number one. Zombie number one. Yes, that's me. See me in the credits. So, there's the um, artwork on the side. Super creepy. Um, and he is from the Horror Collection. You always see that in the corner from which collection they are from. But if you were wondering, of course, you know, he doesn't look like he comes from any other collection. Yeah. But, um, ooh, there you have some of the... Um, they all look like zombies, but for some reason I don't think the other two are supposed to be zombies. But look at that. Super creepy. And he is an official Mego. He is an 8-inch action figure with 14 points of articulation. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and very carefully take this zombie out of his packaging and give you a closer look. We'll be right back. Ooh, and there he is out of the box. Super creepy. Let's take a closer look at our zombie friend. Now, uh, is that going to bite me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look. We'll show you his facial sculpt. Won't put your fingers anywhere near that mouth. Look at that. So he has no pupils. He's definitely got the zombie eyes going on. Yeah. Um, he's got the red in his mouth. His teeth almost like vampire looking. He's definitely from the horror um, collection. And he's got some scratches on his face on both sides. Um, he's definitely got some white, um, accents, white to gray accents on his hair. And here's his outfit. It's like a brown and like a, a thicker type fabric with some slits right here all on the side, all shredded. And his collar is shredded around there too as well. And then, so he has a shirt and then he has a skirt. So, hmm. That is interesting. Maybe he is a monk. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then um, you can see his hands are gray as well. And then he does have the Velcro, like the Mego figure, so you can, um, so it will allow you to remove his and see that he's an official Mego. So, he's definitely got the gray skin. You want to show off his articulation? All right. At your own risk. Okay, so let's take a look. So, he is going to have the 14 points that the Meagers are famous for. So you have the head, the shoulders, and the shoulders will extend as well as rotate. He has the elbow, the double wrist, so it will twist as well as pivot. Uh, he has a point at the waist. Um, it's going to be a little uh, restricted, but he does have, obviously, articulation at the hips. He has at the knees and, of course, the ankles. So, very cool. And loving these uh, new Mego characters that are coming out. So, glad to add him to the collection. Okay, so there's one last look at our zombie friend from... Yes, from Hammer's Plague of the Zombies. We want to say another great big thank you to... Mego. For sending him to us for free to share with you today. And we wanted to let you know that um, Mego has re-released... Uh, like our 50th anniversary of their world's greatest a superhero action figure line. That's the um, the DC superheroes that were made famous back in the 70s and 80s by Migos. And these are going to be in replica window boxes just like they were back then. So they'll be in like the cardboard box with the window uh, on the front. Um, so you can get all that cool nostalgia. And if you hang on just a second... There'll be two graphics, one that'll show you where to you can pick up Migos out and about in retail if you're out looking for them, and how to connect with them online so you can see all of their awesome action figures. Awesome. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.